Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Spencer Suderman attempts a new world record, Falcon Heavy Center Core damaged after second flight, and Bendix King reveals a fully integrated flight deck. Happy Friday, I'm Sophie Herlock. Professional aerobatic pilot Spencer Suderman is preparing to attempt a new world record for the most inverted flat spins in an aircraft. This will be Suderman's second attempt at the record after he was forced to cut his previous attempt short back in February. Worried he would lose consciousness, Suderman pulled the plug at about 14,000 feet after about 54 spins. Suderman will fly an experimental pit Special S1C with the goal of over 120 rotations at a height of around 27,000 feet. Suderman will wear a special oxygen mask to address any breathing issues, but how he will overcome the transverse g-forces is still unknown. Stick around, we'll be right back with Around the Patch after these messages. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at SonicsAircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Now let's take a quick look at a few short stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's Around the Patch. DAR has sold a TBM 910 model year 2019 to a European customer at this year's Air Friedrichshafen. Nicholas Chabert, senior VP of DAR Airplane's business unit said, We are pleased that the latest TBM 910 version is meeting the expectations of European customers who recognize our commitment to using intelligent functionality in further improving safety and operability. Parrot launched a new drone capable of capturing 4K HD video and thermal imaging, the ANAFI Thermal. The drone utilizes Parrot's ANAFI drone platform and equips it with a built-in 4K HDR camera with a 21 megapixel Sony sensor, as well as a FLIR radiometric thermal imaging camera. After failing to land Barashi on the surface of the moon last week, XPRIZE has decided to award Space IL with a $1 million moonshot award for its groundbreaking achievements. Former NASA astronaut Owen Garriott has passed away at the age of 88 in its home of Huntsville, Alabama. Garriott spent 60 days in space aboard the space station Skylab in 1973. In 1983, he was a part of the six-person crew in the ninth space shuttle mission aboard the Columbia. That crew was the largest crew to fly aboard a single spacecraft at the time. You can read more about Garriott's career on NASA's website. We'll be right back with the rest of the news after the break. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are 
Continental Aerospace Technologies, and we stand behind you. Rough seas caused damage to the SpaceX Falcon Heavy Center core boosters after its second flight. Last week, the company launched the Arabsat 6A communication satellite in its first commercial flight for Heavy Falcon. The center booster toppled over during its transit back to the port aboard an autonomous ship used as a landing pad to recover boosters at sea. The ship was originally designed to support the Falcon 9 rocket, which carries a smaller payload. Due to rough sea conditions, the center booster could not be secured properly and eventually was unable to remain upright. The company does not anticipate the loss of the center core booster to affect future missions. Bendex King has unveiled its new AeroView Touch integrated flight deck. The Class 3 cockpit system includes three smart high-resolution touchscreen displays that incorporate all required functions into one panel mounted flight deck. Operators get a connected cockpit that enables live flight data streaming to the ground for enhanced search and rescue flight analysis. It allows operators to update navigation charts wirelessly wherever the aircraft is located, eliminating the need to return the aircraft to maintenance centers. AeroView Touch employs smart display technology that eliminates multiple separate computing modules, reducing the system's weight by 30 to 50%. The AeroView Touch Integrated Flight Deck starts at $99,000 and is now available. That's it for today everyone. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And check out our website, aero-news.net, for the latest on all things in the aviation and aerospace world. Have a good weekend and I'll see you on Monday.